This year, we are going to Florida. We are 177 feet up in, or not feet, we are 177 steps up in the Pensacola Lighthouse. I love heights. Obviously, obviously my girls, where's Joseph? Oh my gosh. Where's Joseph? Right here. Okay. I normally like heights too, but right now I'm just not feeling so hot. Yeah, Emily's definitely in crazy. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, we're going to descend Sam's bed first. Mom, now who's going to watch Maria? Joe, you're going to go right behind me. Dad's not going to like this at all. Put him in front of you. You want, well then, I need somebody. Okay, Cam. Are you going to throw up? Sam, go. You look like you're going to throw up. You can go to the lighthouse on full moon nights. That's when it's haunted. What'd you think of that, Joseph? What do you think about that, Joe? Tell me what you thought of the lighthouse. What did you think about going way up to the top? I bet it was so, so tall. It was very tall. Was it fun, scary? Yeah. Which one? Was it fun or scary? Scary. It was, huh? Mommy, I need to show you some. Look at the sign. What does the sign tell us? This is the girls' bathroom, this is the boys' bathroom, and Dad doesn't know what this this bathroom is. Maybe like the family bathroom? And I got a stamp. Yep, you did get a stamp. And a smiley face from from the museum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that the one. Boys bathroom. There's the three the three holer. No. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. Oh. We've got a little mechanical engineering going on here. No, 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 no! Because I need them to be tied. Because it's a trap. Fingers! Okay, we'll, we'll tie it back up in a second. So, good afternoon. We have only a short time left here. We have only a short time left here in Florida, and it is still so cold. Um, today it's like 50 something degrees, but I'm telling you, that gosh darn wind chill here just is crazy. The wind coming off of the uh, gulf is so, so cold. So, anyways, I just spent over an hour reading upstairs. Um, all wrapped up in a great big king size comforter out on the patio and I had to come in because I I'm telling you I almost had hypothermia it was so cold um, but any but even though I say that let's just turn around and look at what we got here are you gonna get your suit on yeah okay take your clothes off Emily and Sam and Amber are out there in swimwear and, and hoodies. Sam was going to try to do a little boogie boarding or something because the waves are really crashing in today. We're just going to head out and um, try to enjoy this cold, cold beachy day. All right, so we've got Joe all ready to go. Good, you're all wrapped up in your towel. Peter's putting on his sandals. I've got on 
camera strip. I've got on my sandals. A couple pointers that I have in traveling with a large family. A couple things that we like to do when we do travel is to get some place that has a washer and dryer because then one you don't have to take as many clothes along although I totally brought way too much this time in theory you can take less clothing along because you can wash and dry and that's the great thing about this place we have a washer and dryer up there and I just get those gains pods throw them in it's just super super easy um, and we just wash clothes every single night it's just a little top loader so the loads aren't real big so we just kind of keep washing another pointer is to cooking cooking your own food we thought we could get away from Walmart and we can't we've been heading over to Gulf Breeze about every other day to grocery shop and just get enough food for about two two and a half days and that's been great because then we just eat everything that we possibly have I've been buying meals like lunch meat and bread for sandwiches today and some chips and last night we had a really nice supper we did um, remember what did we do for supper last night we did uh, ribs there were these really nice pre-cooked ribs they came in a little package just peel off the wrapper and put them in the oven for 15 minutes they were great I think they were um, Tony Robbins brand and then we just got some potatoes that I microwaved quick and we had some salad and I had some cauliflower left from our trip down here so I just steamed that up we had a really nice supper last night for really probably just about I would say total um, probably less than $30 was our whole meal last night um, to feed eight of us and you know like I said if we go out to a restaurant or something it would just be crazy so um, well let's get on with this and let's head out into those super high waves this morning we saw that the flag was flying yellow which means medium caution um, yeah. it seems awfully dangerous to me but we're gonna head out there because they are going crazy Joe you don't have your sandals where are your sandals buddy are they here? No, those are shells. Joe, let's take, let's rip this bag open and get your sandals. Put those on, honey. Let's Thanks, go. Mom. You're welcome. Hurry, yes. hurry. Everybody's so excited. So excited. We saw more dolphins yesterday over in the uh, Pensacola Bay. Actually, that was pretty exciting. Amber found a giant dead crab. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, and it's disgusting. It was maybe a little gross because it was dead, but it was still nifty looking. In my show book, there's a crab. Yay. There is a crab. Yeah, in Come my on, show Joe, book. you ready? Ready. Oh, why are we doing this? Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, we better run. We got to catch up with Joe. super super cold but really fun we are all just gonna go up and try to load everyone into the two showers to rinse off all the sand and then it's gonna be time to clean this place up because we've got sand from one end to the other and it's starting to drive me 